this house, I got a phone call from the damn office. Of course, I didn't answer it. <laughs> um, I don't answer it unless if it's my fucking boss, boss, you know. But anyways, um, I didn't recognize the number. I didn't have that number in there. But anyway, <clears throat> I had this um, appointment this morning at 10 o'clock. But the address they got on here, man, I couldn't find it. It wasn't showing up on Google Maps. It wasn't showing up on my Rand McNally. Uh, Google, Google, <laughs> Google Maps was telling me um, it wasn't in Bishopville. It was in some fucking other part of South Carolina that was 78 miles away. And I'm like, well, that ain't it. So um, I called the two numbers, right? One number was uh, no longer in service. The other number, I don't know. I left a message. I don't know who the hell it was for then because it wasn't for them because I got the call from the office. She left a message on my voicemail saying, you're 10 o'clock. Just called wondering if uh, you got lost and you're ever going to show up today. You know, it's like at 1 o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I left a fucking message. So, And she gave me her number. So I wrote the number down. I compared it. It's the wrong fucking number. So I called dude up, right? And uh, I was like, man, I tried to call earlier this morning, tonight, about 9.30. I could none of this shit was showing up on the GPS. He said, yeah, yeah, it don't show up on the GPS. I said, oh. Uh, and and uh, he said, well, what numbers you try to call? I said, well, I tried to call the, you got two area code 843 numbers. He said, nah, man, nah, those are the wrong numbers. I said, well, man, you need to call the office and update that shit because... You know, now you're asking me, you're telling me I have to be there. You need me there because you got roaches inside your house. And <clears throat> now I got to see if I can make it there on time because... Motherfucker, stay in your lane! In a half mile, turn right on Chen Branch Road. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Swerving over me. Anyways, they about fucking hit my truck. Um... You know, now he's expecting me to just drop everything. Well, I ain't got nothing to fucking do. So, I can make it there a little bit in time. It's going to be cutting it close. I'll probably be a little bit late for my next one. But at least I'll get this one out of the way. But here's the deal, man. He's probably got this probably some nasty-ass fucking trailer, right? He's like, oh, you got to put in this address. And we the first. And he kept saying, we the first trailer on the left. We the first trailer on the left. And then, and then in the front yard, you will see a you will see a brand new 2018 shiny black Kia. On the left trailer, in the front yard, you'll see a brand new 2018 black shiny Kia. That's a black shiny Kia 2018 brand new in the yard. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude, I got it. A black fucking Kia, shiny, brand new. Who gives a fuck? God damn. You got a 2018 brand new fucking Kia. Shiny black Kia in the front yard. And he's probably got fucking infestation of German roaches and the fucking holes in the floor and shit. That's all we see. I see that shit all the time, man. You motherfuckers. You walk in there and you're like, God damn. How does somebody live like this, man? They got a brand new black shiny Kia. 2018. Shit in the front yard. Well, I didn't make it to the other house with the trailer on the left with the 2018 brand new shiny black Kia. Hell, I, when I typed the address into my fucking GPS, it said seven miles, man. And then I get on a damn road and the damn thing says like uh, 20 miles or something. So I was like, what the fuck, man? So... It was just going to put me really late. I mean, like 40 fucking minutes, 45 minutes late in my scheduled appointment for 2 o'clock. Um, which is not my fault because, you know, if I was uh, wanting somebody to provide a service for me and I kept changing my number but didn't call that service place and say, hey, listen, here's my new number, that ain't my fucking fault. I ain't worried about it. I called dude up and was like, hey, man. Because we can do all our scheduling from here on this little iPad. So I was like, hey, I can put you on, a, on the second at 1 o'clock, which would be this Monday. Oh, I'm going to talk to my wife. And he hung up. He didn't sound too happy, but that ain't my fault, man. Y'all need to learn how to damn call a number and say, hey, listen, my number's changed. 
because you've got something that ain't even showing up on GPS. And he knew that too. He's like, yeah, it ain't showing up on GPS. So I made all the comments to the office and shit, you know, got to put down this certain address and all that and the new number and all that crap. I did it for him.